firstly i would like to thank honorable president stem international organization and conference chair mr pravin petula as well as other committee members of the webinar on veterinary science and animal health in 2021 i would like to extend my sincere thanks to all other participants for sharing their valuable time with us i am m m mutali husain post doctorate research fellow at nanotechnology and catalysis research center university of malay malaya kuala lumpur malaysia my research mainly focused on authentication of animal species in food products using molecular based techniques in addition to this i also involved uh, in the application of nanomaterials in agriculture without delay let's start my presentation mm. today's my title is the detection of animal origin in food products using molecular based techniques uh, firstly i would uh, like to start my presentation with the answer why need food authentication we know that among the other fundamental needs food is an important and essential for all living beings food plays an important role in the promotion of health and prevention of diseases food supplies all nutritional requirements of our body system therefore we need to take food every day however all types of food do not consume all groups of people therefore each group of people has their own choice in the consumption of food for this reason detection of food is very important and essential there are two main types of food sources one is the plant and another is the animal source among these two sources uh, there is no concern about the plant source because a plant is acceptable for all group of people however the main concern uh, about the food authenticity is related to uh, animal species because according to usda united state department of agriculture approximately 75% infectious diseases of human comes from animal origin in addition choice of food depends on various factors among these factors religious belief is very important for example pork is totally forbidden for muslim and jewish on the other hand beef is totally restricted for hindus similarly vegetarians do not allow any animal materials in their diet again some people also have sensitivity to specific food allergic reaction begin after consumption of the sensitive foods considering these issues also strengthen it the term and uh, it needs the authentication of food products is very important and essential moreover adulteration of food products are rampant all over the world for example horse meat sorry horse dna was found in tesco beef burger in uk chinese police seized approximately 20 ton fake beef which was made chemically treated pork pork dna also found in halal branded cadbury chocolate in malaysia even pork dna also found in food products researcher group of uh, national university of singapore also found the 
pork DNA in um, cattle fish and brown ball products in, nine, in 2019. Considering this fact, nowadays consumers are concerned the authenticity of the food products. Increasing the uh, demand for developing the authentic and reliable techniques for the authentication of food products. There are mainly protein based techniques and molecular based techniques are used for the authentication of, of food products. Uh, among these, uh, protein based uh, techniques are not suitable, particularly processed food products, because protein biomarker is very heat unstable and denature easily. And this method is only suitable for raw meats, as uh, protein biomarker denature in case of uh, processed food products. And protein based um, technique is less sensitive and it cannot differentiate closely related species, for example, beef and buffalo. And it is limited only for single species detection, cannot detect uh, multiple species by a single reaction. On the other hand, molecular based techniques use DNA as a biomarker, which is very stable, highly specific and sensitive. And molecular based techniques are applicable uh, for the complex and severely processed food matrices where DNA is broken down. Then molecular based techniques can also differentiate cl closely related species and it is suitable for multiplexing. That means by using the molecular based techniques, we can detect multiple species by a single reaction platform. For this reason, research, nowadays researchers are paid more attention to the molecular based techniques. Among the molecular based techniques, PCR, polymerase chain reaction, DNA barcoding, and DNA biosensors are commonly used for the authentication of food products. Uh, there are several types of PCR, in point PCR or conventional PCR, PCR RNPLP, and real time PCR. Now I am going to present step by step this uh, different type of uh, techniques. Uh, initially, I will start uh, with the PCR polymerase chain reaction. What is the PCR technique? PCR is a technique by which uh, a single copy or few copies of a segment, segment of DNA can be amplified, thousand to million copies of DNA. For this reason, the PCR is called a copying machine of for DNA molecules. That means by using the PCR techniques, we can multiply our target DNA, million, million copies. There are two main types of PCR. One is the simplex and multiplex uh, based on the uh, target. Single plex PCR means uh, it can detect only single pieces. Multiplex uh, PCR means uh, it is able to detect multiple pieces by a single reaction. Now I am going to present in point PCR or conventional PCR. Uh, how we can detect the species in food product using the PCR techniques. This extracted DNA is, is used as a template. Component like the polymerase enzyme. 
and after mixing uh, these components, thermal cycler. In the thermal cycler, uh, due to the temperature, temperature gradient, the target part of the extracted DNA is amplified to million copies of DNA. And after amplification, uh, the amplified PCR products can be visualized by um, gel electrophoresis. Uh, at the gel image, uh, the PCR products uh, are shown as a band. Single bands indicate the uh, single species. Uh, and uh, two or more bands indicate the uh, multi multiplex PCR assay. Considering the size of the bands, we can detect the species, which species are present uh, in our uh, food sample. By this way, we can identify or detect the species in food products using the PCR reaction. Uh, we know that DNA is consist of many genes. For example, cytochrome B, ND5, ND6, ND1, ND2, and D loop, uh, 16S uh, RNA, and 12S RNA. This type many genes. All existing PCR assays are based on targeting a single gene. Where I am uh, uh, showing, for example, cytochrome B gene targeted sing uh, assay. This single targeted assay is less reliable because if uh, this target is broken down uh, due to heat processing treatment, uh, there is no any complementary target. For this reason, there is a possibility or giving the false negative result. To overcome this limitation for the first time, we uh, brought an innovation in the PCR technology targeting double gene. We developed PCR assay by targeting two different genes. false negative result because if one target is break down under food processing treatment, the second tar target will complement the uh, broken target. Broken target. Uh, it is highly uh, unlikely that both of the targets will be broken down under food processing treatment. The advantage this of uh, double gene targeted assays include complementary target is present double layer security in the assay there is less probability of negative result false negative result offering a confirmed detection uh, we develop um, a multiplex double gene targeted multiplex pcr assay for the detection of beef, buffalo, and pork in food products. Initially, we optimize the single plex PCR for detecting a single species. And uh, next, uh, duplex, triplex, tetraplex, and finally, hexaplex PCR assay, where hexaplex means six different bands, two band from beef, two band from buffalo, and two band from uh, pork as we targeted uh, double from each species. Uh, our uh, hair uh, showing the six different peak corresponding to six band. This method was highly sensitive. Uh, it can detect 0.02 nanogram uh, DNA in pure state and 0.1 percent uh, meat in meat adulteration in admix mixture. 
it means if uh, 0 0.1 percent weight by weight uh, meat is mixed or adulterated in the food sample uh, these techniques can be detected our uh, this work is published uh, lca where publisher food control q1 journal and this work also make a patent next we also develop another heptaplex pcr assay for detecting the seven targets by a single reaction our assay uh, can detect uh, seven pieces any one two three four or up to seven pieces have a, in a food product uh, this developed techniques can detect successfully uh, all the target pieces the sensitivity of this method was very low uh, 0 0.01 nanogram in pure state and 0 0.5 percent uh, under adulterate mixture this work is also published as yes, ACS Publisher Journal, Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry. This is also Q1 journal. Now I am going to present the PCR RFLP. RFLP means restriction fragment length polymorphism. This is a technique which is also used for the authentication of food products. Where uh, PCR products are digested with a specific restriction enzyme. The restriction enzyme and buffer is added buffer in the um, PCR products and then digested uh, in a water bath. After digestion of the PCR products, uh, electrophoresis is carried out and uh, by the electrophoresis, the restriction patterns is visualized in the gel as a band. Higher, uh, 210 BP PCR products when digested, it uh, generate two restriction fragments. Uh, and uh, another pro uh, products when digested, it gives three different restriction uh, fragments. By analysis, the size of this restriction fragment, we can differentiate or detect the species. Um, where, uh, why restriction enzyme can uh, generate the restriction fragment? Because when the, uh, each type of restriction enzyme have the specific size of the DNA molecules, when uh, bind the restriction enzyme at the specific site it can generate the two or more fragments by this way. this is the mechanism of pcr rfp techniques uh, we also develop uh, a multiplex pcr rfp techniques for the detection of beef buffalo and pork where uh, 90 pp fragment when digested with f81 restriction enzyme it gives two different um, restriction fragments and on the other hand when the 106 bp shear product digested with the same enzyme it gives two different types of restriction fragments and uh, we also digested the multiplex tetraplex pcr products and it also gives the uh, also the restriction fragments uh, consisting the uh, single uh, PCR products. Here, the electrophorogram is uh, clearly showing the peaks corresponding to the bands. Our this work is also published in a SCS Publisher T1 journal. Now, uh, I am going to present the real time PCR essay. On the, the conventional PCR essay, is only qualitative it gives only presence or absence results but how much adulterant is present in the sample uh, the conventional pcr assay uh, cannot uh, quantify 
for this reason uh, a real time pcr method is developed uh, for the quantification uh, of the ad adulteration here in the real time pcr assay a fluorescence special type fluorescent dye is used uh, this fluorescent dye gives a signal during the uh, reaction is progress for well, uh, in the during the reaction progress in real time uh, it gives the fluorescence signal and the intensity of fluorescence signal is directly proportional to the uh, number of amplicon or number of pcr products produced uh, and uh, it uh, here no need the pushed pcr processing uh, which we already saw in the conventional pcr assay uh, needs the uh, push pcr uh, experiment for example gel electrophoresis in real time pcr assay gives the yeah, fluorescent signal amplification signal by yeah, uh, showing the amplification signal uh, we can uh, detect the species and no need uh, the push pcr processing and by generating the standard curve uh, we can also quantify the uh, quantity of adulterin or how much adulterin is present in the food products we also develop uh, multiplex uh, real-time pcr assay where our assay was uh, more sensitive it can detect uh, up to 0 0.003 nanogram um, dna in pure state and 0 0.1 percent dna in uh, admixture uh, method it can quantify by using this method now i'm going to present the dna barcoding DNA barcoding is another type of techniques which is also used authentication of food products. It is also PCR based techniques, but uh, higher uh, PCR products uh, are sequenced using the sequencing and uh, the process of the DNA barcoding is DNA is extracted from uh, food sample and the extraction DNA uh, is amplified by PCR techniques. Uh, after that, PCR products are purified with um, different type purification kit. Um, next, DNA is uh, sequen DNA sequencing experiment is carried out to know the sequence of the PCR products and. Um, after getting the sequence of the PCR products, it is uh, analysis or compare with the uh, DNA sequence of uh, gene bank, NCBI data bank or gold by comparing uh, with this uh, due to similarity, close similarity uh, with the gene bank, we can detect the species by using the DNA barcoding. In case of the DNA barcoding, uh, usually uh, a universal primers are used. Uh, on the other hand, in the conventional PCR, uh, mainly used species specific primers. This is the in difference. Uh, now I am going to present my last topic, which is DNA biosensor. Uh, although still now uh, PCR techniques are very good, good standard method for the detection of species origin in food products. However, PCR methods have some limitation because it is time consuming and costly. And uh, for PCR experiment needs sophisticated uh, instrument and 
lab based method to overcome this uh, limitation researchers have paid their attention for the development of dna biosensor because uh, dna biosensor are very simple and it is fast sensitive specific and inexpensive method and it is also field based method for this reason uh, now uh, consumer and also uh, researchers have uh, uh, paid attention for the development of dna biosensor uh, in the dna biosensor tensor is used tensor is the one type of uh, electrode which can transfer the energy from one point to another normally uh, the tensor is modified with different type of uh, nanoparticles where i am showing as an example uh, graphene oxide nanoparticles the tensor is modified with graphene oxide nanoparticles and then also modified with gold nanoparticles uh, why need modification of the tensor because uh, the modification with nanoparticles the it uh, facilitated uh, the generating the more sensitive signal of the tensor and another advantage uh, it facilitated to the immobilization of the single stranded dna proof to the tensor because uh, uh, with the nanoparticles particularly gold is very easily can immobilize the dna with these particles for this reason uh, tensors are normally modified and uh, after immobilization of the dna single stranded dna proofs it generates it work as a electrode and after generating the electrode dna is extracted from the food sample when extracted dna comes contact with the immobilized group containing tensors this target dna hybridize with the proof dna uh, due to the complementary sequence and after hybridization, it gives a more signal. Uh, by uh, yeah, detecting this signal, uh, we can detect the species. This method uh, is now still in lab base and under research. Uh, and Maybe in near future, uh, it will come as a commercial base uh, method, method DNA biosensor. Then it will be very easy for us for the detection of animal species in their food products. Thank you.